Alright, so during the break, I fixed a couple of things and changed a couple others. I noticed that the tree fade wasn't actually making the trees and shrubs fade. It was just making them too flattened and ugly. So I fixed that. I turned up the object and item fade because I'm fine with seeing those from farther away. It doesn't really do anything. And I fixed the level quirk. Well, because I was doing the sneak and run mostly out of impatience and laziness on my part rather than, you know, needing it to avoid stuff. So, I fixed that. Other than that, we get to go with us. With this. I think we might as well go do this one next. And I'm not doing Quest, she will play both sides and she will uh, Hello. keep the book while she's at it. So I think I'm gonna do this. I think I might do this backwards from the way I usually do. What is it, associate? Do you need something? He opens the door and you can actually... I'm afraid I can't just write one out of hand. That would be against protocols, you see. If perhaps you can clear up a small matter involving Irana, you can prove your loyalty to the guild and earn my recommendation. She and I have an unpleasant history. She does not care for guild regulations, and errantly believes I am misusing my powers. I have seen that she is in town. Though she has not approached me, I know she wants something. I would like you to find out what it is. Determine what she's after, and how we may be rid of her. I do not want her here, spreading her lies. Make haste. I wish to be rid of... Verana as soon as possible. Verana as soon as possible. Now, I happen to know she would find even if she didn't know. Um, one of the things you need to the second part of this, you can get in one of the guild halls. Hi there! It sounds like there are an awful lot of problems at the Bruma Guild Hall. Jean does a poor job of running that place. Yeah. No. Yeah, I'm aware. Since that's the one I've done already.
Yes. No. She's coming up this way anyway, so I get to meet her in the middle. Ah, yes. You are a guild mage, are you not? Yet different from the others. Yes, yes, this is good. There's a small matter with which you may be able to assist. It's nothing worth involving your guild in, I assure you. Best if kept just between us, yes? So, what say you? Excellent. I will do the thing. It's a simple task, really. All you need to do is fetch a book for me. The book is entitled Fingers of the Mountain. It is of no use to you. You won't be able to read it. I, however, can, and would very much like to. You'll find it at an old ruin called Cloud Top. It's north of Coral, up in the mountains. I'm afraid I don't have an exact location. Return it to me immediately when you have it. Make no mention of it to Tikius or anyone else in your guild. I will make it well worth your effort. Good to know we've got such a strong Fighters Guild presence here in town. Oh. Go ahead, please. What? Not only does it exist, but she knows where it is? Well, this is unacceptable. That book needs to be in the safekeeping of the Guild. I trust that as a member of the guild, you would do the right thing and acquire this text before Irana does. Are we clear? Ignore her request. Go to this place she has described and return with the book. This is far more important than any petty squabble. Should you go looking for it, I hope that it would be for the sole purpose <laughs> of bringing it here. Nope. Make haste. I wish to be rid of Iran. Find a couple of secrets in it? If you need weapons training. Are you kidding me? It's not nope. always easy.
body? Is kind of an indicator of what's to come. Have pity, sir. I got nothing to eat. Yes. Besieged by the Nords of Skyrim. Morrowind has always been a troubling place. It seems it is more so now. Well, if it isn't my little helper, have you retrieved that book for me yet? Oh, oh wonderful. Oh. I'll just take this from you and get to work translating it. I'll need some time with this. Come and find me tomorrow. I'll be at the Grey Mare until I've finished my work. But please don't disturb me until I'm done. This is quite a delicate business, you see. Greetings. What exactly do you require of me? Nothing. Now, while we're waiting for her to do that, I want to go see if you're open this time. Because they're really bad about keeping it to hours. How are you? Sometimes they're open in the morning, like everyone else. Sometimes they don't open Have you ever been to the King and Queen Tavern? The King and Queen is a nice place. I mean, they have to everyone down. I'm not going to end well just yet. Actually, good for giving you a greater percentage what do you of want? the value of your stuff. Um, Only quality goods for sale. Because she's novice. May I interest you in some of my... Yes. A fine trap. A good price for a good customer. Thank you. Bye. It's you. Hi.
What kind of deal? May I interest? And that you that. Come back and see me again. Seems to be enough. Goodbye. Please come again.
Yes? Yeah? You seem quite intriguing. Please, share your... Hello, associate. To earn a recommendation from me, you need simply prove you are able-bodied and prepared to learn something in the process. Unlike some frivolous tasks you may be given at other guild halls, this is a serious matter and has consequences. Are you prepared? Yep. Then allow me to explain the task. The Council of Mages has entrusted me with resolving a situation along the Gold Road. Several traveling merchants have been found dead along the Gold Road recently, with even more missing. The Council has asked that I put a stop to it. You are going to help me do so. As you are new to the Guild, you are less likely to be recognized as a member. This may give you an advantage in getting to the root of the problem. We believe the killings are the actions of a rogue mage. Battle mages have been sent to the Brina Cross Inn, the only common link between the victims. You are to travel north to the Brina Cross Inn and speak with Ariel Gerard. She will give you further instructions. It's a sad thing to think that a mage would kill helpless merchants for the wares they carry. That's kind of petty. Some mages do not abide by the principles of the guild and operate outside its boundaries. Many hold little value for the lives of others. <laughs> the frost burns found on the victims in this case indicate a mage was responsible for their deaths. Likely nothing more than simple robbery. These scrolls should provide sufficient resistance to frost magic when and if you do encounter this rogue mage. Use them wisely. The inn lies north of Anvil. Speak with Ariel Jurard when you arrive. She will give you further instructions. Do not let your guard down. We do not know whether the inn staff is involved somehow. Be seeing you.
How do you do? What is it now? What's new with you? Yep. Hello, stranger. What can I do for you? Karel has sent you, as you not. Go and speak with Kristoff. Rent a room for the night. Once you have your room, I will meet you there. If anyone asks, you are a traveling merchant. Nothing more. Do not say otherwise to anyone. No, friend. I'm afraid I don't know the way to Shaden Hall. But good luck in your travels. Please excuse me. Hello there. What is it now? Welcome to the Brina Cross Inn. Can I interest you in something to eat? Or perhaps a bed for the night? Let me guess. Travelling on business? You don't look like you're out for a stroll. Ah, yes, thought so. We get many of them travelling through here. Oh, well, we used to. Haven't seen as many lately. What with the, uh... Well, you know, the murders. I don't like to talk about it much, as it's bad for business. At any rate, would you care for a bed for the night? Right then. The bed is just upstairs at the back of the inn. Sleep well. Good. Pardon me. Did I hear you say that you're a traveling merchant? Yes. Don't you worry, what with the recent killings and all? I'd be ever so scared if it were me. I haven't left the inn in days, just in case. Well, you take care of yourself. I'd hate to hear about another senseless death. Good luck to you. Hello there. All right, it should be safe to speak here. Once you've rested here, you need to continue along the gold road heading east towards Kavach. I shall be following out of sight, along with a fellow battle mage. Make no attempts to speak to us. Trust that we will protect you. <laughs> should you be confronted by this cowardly mage, do not hesitate to protect yourself by whatever means possible. Once the mage has revealed himself, we will step in and settle a matter quickly. Now get yourself some sleep. You'll need to be well rested. Unfortunately, I don't really need to, but you are required to rest for at least one hour. So, you actually have to sleep in the bed you paid for. Then you can go off and... I'm afraid your journey ends here, traveler. I'll be taking whatever you're carrying. After you're dead, of course. I do hope it's more than the last few had. They were most disappointing.
So, what of the rogue mage? Has he been found? A she, a she you say, and she's dead. Well, Ariel and Roliand did what needed to be done. No more innocent deaths, at least for now. You have done well enough for yourself. I'll pass along my recommendation well, to Ramlas. Though I must say, I doubt it will do you much good in the end. You'd be surprised how easily they forget about the little people. We'll see. Goodbye. May I help you? Hard to complain about living in... Hello. Right. What? I heard someone broke into the Mage's room. I feel so bad for you. Absolutely. Goodbye. How goes it? Not bad. Good to hear. Have you heard any word about the other provinces? Nothing I'd like to talk about. Hello, my little friend. I have something that might interest you. I've committed most of the book to memory, but I took the time to write down a passage you might find useful. It contains instructions for acquiring a very special power. You'll want to read it carefully and then return to Cloud Top. I consider this to be more than a worthy reward for your help. I believe you'll agree, assuming you're careful. Take care. How do you do? Good to see you. How are you today? Fantastic. Thanks for asking. Well Good. Met. Goodbye. Hi. Take care. Sounds like there are an awful lot of problems at the Bruma.
weren't prepared, it would hurt a lot. And I think we'll stop here for now and deal with getting that book back next time.